Oh, we're going to fight on this bridge now. I was right. Yeah. Okay, there are lots of traps. So everyone just stay here exactly where you are. And by exactly where you are, I mean just position yourselves slightly. Nice. Okay, stay. Stay stay where you are. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Um, let's see what we've got. Bunch of guys over there. I'll tell you what then. Paralysis. Don't go up there. There. Now kill them. Very well. Trap. And, and then... Repulsion. Alright, let's get rid of those ones. I tried to be now, you should just be able to... Stop these. Yes, thank you. Thank you for the commenter who told me about that. And you can chaos them as well, right? Now you can run up and battle them. Very good. Let's take a look around here while we're up here, because this is quite a nice um, little locale to have a fight on. I mean, we kicked their asses, which is really nice, but... Nice. What now? And it's very cold and very wintry and not very what nice. What do you need? Oh, just hang on. I didn't actually want anything. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, this is nice. Apart from the weather, obviously. Hmm. No, no, no. You. Yes. Yes, you. Yes. So this is the Mage's Tower. As far as I could tell there. Oh, it froze, but it's okay. We're alright. This is warmer here. So, we got a study. We got demons! Oh no, no. We got a warden corpse though. That can't be good. It's not. It's not good. Okay. Do a shield wall. This may well hurt. You can run in there and batter someone. At the end you can just do your thing. Merax, do a glyph of repulsion. There. Going. Yeah. Divide and conquer. What are you doing in there? You can shoot from there. I shall. Good. Yeah, you're just taking him straight out the fight. Let's heal you. Bye. <laughs> These guys are just just dandy. Alright, good. That went pretty well. I think we've about covered this now. There's only two of them left. You can uh, do that to him. It didn't take a lot of damage there, but then again, he isn't dead, so... He's probably got a uh, heavy, hefty resistance. It's cold. Alright, good. Let's paralyze him. He's done for. Nice. Well done, everyone. I think our mage won that fight. Ability notes. Appears to be old research to the Mage of Venice. They did a series of experiments in terse clinical handwriting. Day 32. The subject is not responding to the stimuli. Testing the pain threshold has uncovered nothing. Only three subjects are left. Day 82. If only I could reproduce last night's extraordinary success. Electricity is only a catalyst. The blood is the key. Day 97. Energy and blood. Repeated applications have duplicated the results. I conjecture that success can be induced alchemically. But there are no more subjects left. If only I had one more, or a dozen, the things I could do. 
Well, he was up to no good, wasn't he? As you and wish. A strange concoction. You know, the culmination of um, Avernus's horrific research promises to unlock hidden potential of the tainted blood you drank during the joining. Unlock the hidden potential of the tainted blood. Yes, because of course we had to drink the darkspawn blood. Let's leave it alone. Hmm. Gonna take a quick break. Okay. Hmm. Chemical concoction. Not sure about that. I'm not sure about it. What's this anyway? Sanctum. It's <sighs> probably not good either. But no. I'd, oh, and a book. Okay, well, book. Venice's notes. We'll hear a bit more about this now. The taint allows us to uh, sense darkspawn. The longer we survive with the taint in our blood, the more potent it becomes. Fortunately, this corruption will eventually overwhelm the warden over time. It devours both mind and body, leaving nothing. Well, that's some news, isn't it? Um, but what if the spread of the corruption could be stopped or contained in some way? What if the warden could become more powerful without having that power to kill him? That power kill him. How great would that power be? Would it be enough to stop the demons? The joining, the joining ritual is crude. Yes, it is. Uh, we take into ourselves the blood of the dark spawn in the most obvious way. Most die from the corruption immediately. It is, after all, poison. But there must be some way to refine the joining. Isolate the true power that is found in the dark spawn blood and leave behind the evil that kills us. I can feel the corruption starting to take its toll on my body. I must not succumb. There is too much work to do. Um, through my magic, I've been able to slow its inevitable spread, but not keep it, stop it completely. I'm starting to hear things, even while awake. A voice, more beautiful than any other, that calls to me from the depths in my dreams. I see the black city. I'm drawn towards it. There is something there. An answer to what, um, to what this taint is. This taint we share with the darkspawn. Well... That's interesting. So suddenly this is quite tempting. I'm gonna say. We'll uh, leave it for now. May come back to it. Alistair? You go first. These things are all gonna come alive and kill us. Oh there he is. Right, we may well um well, we'll get into a fight here, obviously there's a corpse over there. And yeah. But um let's do a little bit of pre-buffing first. Where's your um Where is it? Hmm. There's some valor. We need. We, oh, that's. Oh, it's there. It's on. Silly me. And you got rapid shot on. Without any chance of inflicting regular critical hits, Master Archer increases the rate of fire further still. All right. Um. We might need that. Yes, do that. Don't know if it'll last through this, I'm not sure. I hear you. Don't disrupt my concentration. Even now the demons seek to replenish their numbers. Are you to thank for this welcomed but temporary imbalance? You know what? I'm tempted to go with this one. You're a monster. Summoning demons and such is, uh, after we've been fighting them for so long, I'm not going to be too happy with him, am I? So you know what? I'm going to go with that one. It suits my character and, um... Yeah, I'm going to say it. A monster? For a hundred years I have fought them. Thought by thought. Spell by spell. If I am a monster, it is because I must be one. Careful. This man has dabbled in matters forbidden by the Maker. He may look frail, but don't trust him. 
So the Maker told you that, did he? Short-sighted men have forbidden my research, not any god. <laughs> Enough. Why are you here? What is your intent? Um, well... I'm basically here to recover the Grey Warden's base, honestly. That's kind of why I'm here, and because this dude with me said that we should. Hmm. An admirable goal. But in order to achieve this, the demons must be cut off forever. I would like some... Yeah, it must be rid of... Oh, well, that's just what he said, but... Uh, Soldier's Peak must be rid of this plague of demons. There you go. Agreed. This must be the first priority. The only priority. Alright, I want some answers. To what questions, I wonder? Ask. Well, time for questions is over. <laughs> How have you survived these so many years? We shouldn't really ask that. The Chantry foolishly forbids blood magic. But there are so many secrets to uncover. As my body decayed, I found ways to extend it. But that can only go so far. What happened? What use would storytelling serve? The tyrant Arland is long dead, as is all our noble co-conspirators and the Grand Rebellion. Sophia's corpse may walk and talk, but she too is no more. Yes. Um, oh, I was going to point to this guy, but he's not there anymore. Um, this choice is not there. Okay, what happened to the rebellion? Why did you leave the wardens to die? You had to know that summoning so many demons was foolhardy. I should, yeah, I'll say that. Perhaps, but it was survival for months. I prepared the summoning circles, researched the darkest depths of the Fade. That moment was a triumph of demonic law. Dozens of demons called by my hand. But with so many variables, I suppose, calculation errors were inevitable. Ugh. I was so close. I could persuade him to say you're to blame for all this some things you just don't do, and that may well work. Commander Dryden knew of the demons? You sound proud of your actions. I'm going to ask if she knew that you were doing this. She gave the order. I would have summoned the demons anyway. Only under wardens can true magical research continue. A chance to rediscover the secrets of ancient Tevinter. Do you remember how it ended? The Black City? Darkspawn? Chantry lies told to subjugate the mages to keep them docile. How do you know they're wrong? And how do you know they are right? Their faith would have you swallow a great deal for small comfort. Hmm. Are you proud of what you've done? My only regret is that it failed, and that I never had a chance to make Arland pay. Yes, Arland. I'm going to say this. You're to blame for all this, some things you just don't do. Summoning demons. Naughty boy. From a warden, that means something. Hmm. So tired. So old. Let me undo my greatest of mistakes. Let me cleanse this place. Then, then, I will accept whatever justice you feel I merit. All right. Um, let's ask about something else, maybe. Yes. Like this dude. Sophia's great-grandson is brought here. Have a word. Master Mage, uh, sir. My family name has been worth less than dirt for over a century. Do you have any proof that Sophia was a hero? The boy who braved the mists. So you heeded my call. <laughs> and you are a Dryden. The cosmos has a sense of humor. You, you, you called him? He was but a boy when he entered the tunnels below the peak. His heart pure, his character certain. 
In dreams, I gave him the keys he would need. He would be my deliverance. Well, just answer his question. Your great-great-grandmother was the best of us. Brave, charismatic, fiery, utterly devoted to the fight. But still we lost. We fought against a tyrant, you know. So full of vigor then, so blind to consequence. But proof? There's none to be had. Oh. Sorry, dude. I... Uh, I had hoped. But thank you, Warden. Now let's ask about these experiments. To stop the demonic tide, to correct the miscalculations of the past. Blood magic comes from demons. They could counter every bit of law I knew. But the dark spawn taint, that is alien to them. And it has power. What power? The Wardens use it merely to sense Darkspawn, a triviality. My research has discovered so much more, hinted at even greater heights. This knowledge could not only save Soldier's Peak, with it the Wardens could grow even more powerful. Only a monster would sacrifice his fellow Wardens? It was necessary. It was vital. The few meager years of life they would have spent trapped in this tower were nothing compared to the greater goal. I gave their death meaning. I'm thinking it might appeal. Not because my character is a power-hungry um, so-and-so, shall we say, but because if it does make him more powerful and let him fight Darkspawn better, then, well, it does that. It lets him fight Darkspawn better and um, will help the cause. I wonder what Alistair thinks. I wish I could ask him. You know, we can stay, you know, what do you reckon? But I can't. But I'm going to ask just generally if he could possibly teach me what you've learned. Um... And also the fact that the uh, just learnt now. I wasn't sure. I'm not sure whether it's been in the game before because I don't think Duncan mentioned it that the um, dark, dark, dark spawn taint will eventually kill you. Um, um, that there was that's even like been a thing, and that's a bit of a shock. And he's like that's actually scared my character. It's not not really the happy ending he was hoping for. So um, can you teach me teach me what you've learned? You've already read my research, but in time, with the proper materials, I could learn so much more. Alright, something else maybe? Yes. Alright, time for questions is over. <laughs> so be it. My only request, if justice or vengeance drive you, stay your hand until the demons are dealt with. Alright. That will do for now. We must go to the Great Hall. There, I will repair the damage I caused so long ago. There will be peril. The demons will fight us every step of the way. Come. We going, man? Quest updated. All right. Um, last Warden Commander of Ferelden was Sophia Dry and Lee wants to know more about her life and hopes to find proof she was brought on to her family instead of disgrace. Hmm. The old Grey Warden Mage Avernus has agreed to mend the rip in the veil the demons have been using to terrorize Soldier's Peak. The ritual takes time to complete and Avernus must be protected for its duration. That is what we are doing. Just hang on, dude. Hang on. Some loot here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Might find equipment that will help us. Chainmail boots, for example. Not something that I'm... Did I even take them? Take all. Oh, is that it? I was hoping for more. There's a wooden crate and a corpse. Marvelous. On my way. An axe. Oh, here we go. More. Um, find Commander Stern's secret cache. 
He learned about the establishment of the base and his founder's last days. The records state that Commander Sturian may have built secrets into the base and may have hidden something important somewhere in the Soldier's Peak. He found the clues, but where do they lead? Okay, here we go. Uh, there was one mystery, however, that persisted, and the mystery perplexed even Commander Howick himself. When Commander Asturian went um, into went to his calling in the deep roads, he did not have in his hand his sword, um, Asturian's might, forged for him by the dwarven smiths, and prevented and presented to him upon the completion of Soldier's Peak. Nor did he pass the sword on to his successor, nor to any Grey Warden. There's a sword out there, guys. While some maintained that Asturian had simply destroyed the sword in his dotage, others believed that he had stashed it away somewhere in Soldier's Peak. One young warden claimed that Asturian had once grabbed him by the shoulders, fixed him with a wavering gaze and said, The sword will remain, will remind you that what it is to be a warden. Speak your oath to me when the shadows come. You must speak the words. This smoke screen is never, doesn't, don't know what that means. The oath might be um, what, what's said at the joining, which Alistair knows, because I asked you as hell can't remember. Okay. Where have you gone? <laughs> to the bridge. Sanctum. Is it down here then? Is that where he's gone? To the Great Hall, maybe? Nope. Mm, not concoction is he out here <laughs>